Hi and welcome here from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is called MRTV. If you're just as fascinated about VR and ARSV, then subscribe to this channel and I'll be very happy if you would do so. So, in this video, I'm going to walk around the Mobile World Congress 2019 with you for a couple of minutes to give you an impression of how it is and of course everything is live. And um, I'm going to do this, this kind of video as a first video whenever, whenever I go to all these interesting exhibitions just to bring you with me, just to give you the feeling as if you were there. Hi AIX, hi Norman. So I'm bringing you guys, I'm bringing you guys now to Mobile World Congress. It has just started like 30 minutes ago. The doors opened like 30 minutes ago and um, yeah. Just to give you an idea about the place, I'm going to walk around here with you for 10 or 15 minutes before I hit the before I hit the booths and before I talk with all the stuff to find all the VR and AR stuff for you. So if you like that, of course, I'd be very very happy about a super chat. Um, since yeah, I, I finance everything here by myself, not being sponsored by any company. So yeah, I'd be very happy about any kind of contribution during my live streams during the show so I can finance this actually. So, all right, so um, good. Now <laughs> we can start to walk around here just to give you an, an, an idea. We are now in hall seven and there are overall, there are overall eight halls here. And um, as compared to the CES 2019, which is all over Las Vegas, this is pretty cool because yeah, everything is concentrated here at this at this place. Okay, now let's start walking. And here we go, Mobile World Congress, and this is Hall Seven, and we start with ta ta HTC Vive. HTC Vive is here in Hall Seven. 5G and what do we see here? Here is the Vive Cosmos. Thank you man, thank you so much AX for your super chat. Let's get the ball rolling. So here's the Cosmos and um, yeah, so the controllers do look very cool. I would say really like this. However, I'm telling you guys these controllers they look kind of huge, kind of big, kind of huge. This was the first thing that came to my mind when I saw them. Wow, the ring is kind of huge. I'm not sure if you could tell this uh, through the video, but it does look kind of big. Then, um, yeah, the headset itself, as you can tell, four cameras for inside out tracking. And um, yeah, the, the headphones, it seems like you can detach them. They look kind of very similar to the one in the deluxe audio strap, which makes lots of sense. And from the other side as well, okay. So on the bottom we have this kind of knob. And I think what you can do here, you can uh, change the, the distance of, of the lens from your eyes, which is kind of neat. Other than that, um, I, try to, I try to see it from all the different directions, but I, I cannot see any ports. So I don't know if this is just a model where you cannot see the ports or what, but as much as I look, I don't seem to find the ports. Anyways, by the way, guys, if you have any questions for me, yeah, or if you want me to go to a certain stand, I can totally do that for you. Okay, so here somebody is trying out the Vive Focus uh, Pro. So I hope I can try this later. So this is the Vive Focus Pro. And the thing is, it's the Vive Focus, but it has now... Oh, they are playing super hard. It has now two controllers with six degrees of freedom tracking. I'd love to try them later and I think I can do so. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. Yep, 
Yeah, let me walk a bit more here around the... Oh, they make it very nice. Look at this. They, made, they really made it very nice here. The stand. Pricing of the Vive Cosmos, we don't know yet. Oh, look at this. Here. Here's the Vive Cosmos again, but without the glass. So I can go very close. I could actually touch them if I wanted to. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to touch them. I touched them. I'm the first YouTuber to ever touch the Vive Cosmos controllers. Do you think I can just take them in my hand now since they're lying here like this? Okay, I don't know. Let's ask somebody. Somebody from HTC. I don't see anybody from HTC. So then that means I can touch them, right? Let's find somebody. I ah, hear. This guy. This guy's from HTC. Hello. Can I can I touch them? No. Oh no, okay, okay, I can't touch them. Okay. But I have already touched them secretly. <laughs> okay. So, I cannot touch them, but I already touched them secretly. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> so, um, hi. hi. I'm wondering, can I get a demonstration of the Vive Focus Pro later? Yes. Uh, you need, what, the Vive or the Focus? Yeah, I would, I, any, anything. I will try, let's so try anything. The Focus is registered with um, reception here. Okay. With any of the uh, you need to... Uh, Okay, great. And uh, what are you showing off here? Are you showing off the Vive Focus Pro, right? So over here we have the Vive Pro. Okay, yeah. Which is super, super fast. So you have about two and a half gig download per second. Yeah. Super fast. And then we have various other booths that are going to be doing other content. Okay. But uh, what what um, what hardware? Um, is it okay if I film you or oh no? Okay, no, that don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, we have the five G uh, and we have also have the Pro I. The Pro I. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you also show off the Vive Focus Pro, right? Vive Focus Pro. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But this but this device you don't show it off. No. Why not? It looks so nice. It, it, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah. It, to, to be. To, what? We very much soon will be um, demoing. Ah, uh, when when are you going to demo at no, GDC? I have no idea. You don't know, but not on but not on this. No. Okay. Okay. No problem. I will. I will touch it secretly. Yeah. So, um, can I put it on? No. No. Sorry. Okay. Okay. But. Uh, so, okay, but it's good. I can see something here. You know what? We can get so close here. So, actually, it, it, it has a battery. So, it seems like, yeah, it has a battery. So, so um, this should work with, uh, yeah, with normal batteries, which is cool. I like that. It's good. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the glass again. They saw me. <laughs> hey, I was the first YouTuber to touch the controllers. And you saw that live, the first YouTuber to ever touch the Vive Cosmos controllers. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was worth it. It was worth it to come to, <laughs> to Mobile World Congress 2019. Uh, they are hard plastic. Yeah, they are hard plastic and it seems like you have to, uh, yeah, you have to put batteries into them. Wow, I'm creating news here. Batteries. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get some more information and I'm going to try I'm going to try this the Vive Focus uh, I later no no this is the Vive hello the Vive Focus Pro with the two two controllers oh it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really it's gonna be big fun here guys at Mobile World Congress Hello. Can I try this? 
Okay, yeah. sure. Um, do I have to make an appointment for this? Yeah, you can see the reception. Just quickly, they'll give you a wristband. Yeah. Okay, thank so you. Just, yeah, yes, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very friendly people. <laughs> Yeah, very good. So, but anyways, <laughs> that was the Vive stand, the HTC Vive stand, and uh, oh, the Vive Focus Plus. Okay, thank you, Eric. <laughs> thank you, Eric. I, <laughs> I will check the naming convention of this device. I know, but let me let me just go again and have, and have a look because they're also showing that here. I, I just saw it in in one of those boxes here. Here, there it is. Here. Yeah, you're right, so Eric. The, the Vive Focus Plus. Here it is. The Vive Focus Plus. And here we have... Ah, here. Here we have another... This is another Vive Pro. This is a Vive Pro I, right? I think. I mean, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Thank you, Eric, for, for your correction there. Wow. I touched the Vive Cosmos controller as the first YouTuber ever on this planet Earth. <laughs> That's cool. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, so let's just walk around a bit. 3 a.m. in America. Oh, yeah. There's Vuzix. And I'm going to check out their um, smart, gla smart glasses later. Hello. So, uh, this is an old model. Uh, I have tried the other one, the Blade, at CES, and I'm going to try it later today again. Music, yes. Okay, so I'm, going, I'm simply... <laughs> yeah, X, you know what? Of course, I'm going to make another video later. I'm, I'm going to make another whole um, video about about Vive later, about HTC Vive, and I'm, I'm just going to spend time at the Vive stand. And believe me, I have the feeling it's going to be amazing because I'm also going to ask them about their amazing customer service. So that should make for a great live show. Yeah, here, Mercedes here, Germany, the digital, the, di the digital power of Germany. Yeah, I'm here too. Ah should find out why Germany is so great with digital power. Oh, actually, this is my, this is my state in Germany, Nordrhein-Westfalen, because Germany has 16 states and actually this is mine, amazing. I should talk with them later, find out why we are so amazing. I mean, other than MRTV headquarters. Wow, Nordrhein-Westfalia, the digital power of Germany. Totally forgot the MRTV logo here. Volkswagen, oh, we, we really made it to the German, the German area. Oh. Infineon, okay, also, yeah. Rot und Schwarz, okay. Indeed, Germany. Yeah, I'm simply going to walk a bit more, probably, I don't know, probably five minutes more. To kick off to, to kick off this this Mobile World Congress day, 5G. Okay, so this is about oh, so this is about trekking. Girls are dancing, and as you can tell, their bodies are perfectly tracked. So this is some kind of connect body tracking thing. Yeah. Anyways. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Arm. Oh, no, I didn't I didn't read the chat. Let me click on the chat icon. Arm is here. And another German car. Yeah. I, I just parked my car here and I'm going to pick it up later. Yeah, my dear friends, this time my audio should be much better than it from CES because I have this really nice uh, because I have this really, really nice um, 
external microphone that I bought myself right now to give you some better audio quality from, from Mobile World Congress 19. So I just got the question, what's the matter with Sreeviver? And Sreeviver is alive and kicking. Uh, I recently spoke with Sreeviver, recently spoke with Sreeviver uh, like uh, yesterday and he's doing good and he's looking forward to come back to YouTube. So very soon you're going to see him in the YouTube game again and yeah we're going to go to Prague together in in April to meet the the, the VR engineers to talk about our project. We're going to work on that XTAL consumer headset together and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty interesting. And here we have the Netherlands, yeah, our our neighbor. Greetings to Cass and Cherry, and to Nati, <laughs> and Morocco. Oh, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I mean, probably we're not going to find too much of VR here, but there's lots of 5G, and um, you know, it was it has already been worth it to be the first YouTuber to ever touch the Vive Cosmos controllers, live, in this stream. Isn't that amazing? Okay. This is one, by the way, this year is still hall number seven. And yeah, there are eight halls, so there's lots of, lots of things I can check out for you guys. And um, this video here, this the first video, this introduction video, is just for you to get an idea how Mobile World Congress 19 really looks like for people who are here, for people who come here. And uh, with my streams, I simply want to give you the feeling that you are there. So I come here so that you don't have to come here. Now, isn't that nice? <laughs> so if you love that, if you love what I'm doing, if you want more content and support me at the same time, go to MRTV Elite. Dot com. That's mrtvelite.com, one word. And yeah, you can support me and get more, get more content. Get more content and um, yeah, just become member of the MRTV Elite. Hello. Hello. Wow, what is this? It's a personal robot. A personal robot. Yes. And uh, so we are implementing Alexa into it, so it'll be like a smart speaker, smart display, and then the whole mapping system is uh, so you can call into it and drive uh, from anywhere, like... Uh, okay. uh, so I'm, like I'm not at home, and then uh, I yeah, can just I walk can, around my house yeah, and, check, and check... Okay. Out, uh, I can check on my wife, what is she doing at yeah. home? <laughs> and drive it around... Like oh, that's there. me! In your phone! So it will be that robot. And I can uh, tap any point of interest. It's the one over there. Yeah, okay. And uh, I can tap any point of interest and it looks there. Oh, cool. Yeah, very nuts. Uh, remote control it. Right, and I can also probably talk? Yeah, I you mean... can talk, like you can ask questions just oh. like your Alexa. And we are implementing Alexa, so then after you can just call it. Uh... I mean, I can video phone, like I'm at yeah. home, I can talk with my wife yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the follow is like for your kids that are running around everywhere, oh, you know, you can that's have, amazing. You feel like you're chasing them around. Oh, that's cool. And can I put my face onto this thing? Yeah, of course, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, this is like for uh, to put your phone down when you are uh, oh, yeah. you're at home, so you're not like this all the time. Okay. Yeah, Amazing. That's really cool. Thank you. So how expensive is this device? Uh, 2,000 euros. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. And uh, is it available now? Yeah, it's available uh, right now in the US. Okay. And uh, in Europe very soon. All right, it's yeah. called? Tammy the personal robot. Tammy the personal robot. <laughs> and this has now been live streamed. Thank you so much. Of oh, this is a, this is pretty cool. Tammy the personal robot. Would you buy that? Yeah, Yanred, I think it's cool. <laughs> Shameless advertising. Yeah, I haven't but I haven't been paid for that, unfortunately. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun and you're here with me at Mobile World Congress 2019. It doesn't have a beer holder. How much was that? It was, Robert, it was 2,000 euros. Yeah, about $2,200 probably. And it's available in the United States of America and soon in good old Europe. 
Oh, guys, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, my goodness. All right, so, so um, I do believe that you, you do have an idea now. You, you do have an idea now about Mobile World Congress, about the hall number seven, lots of 5G. <laughs> Can we get two and make them five? Yeah, that would be interesting. Denmark is here too. Don't catch the cold. Yeah, I tried to. I, I, I got this time. I, I brought this uh, disinfection gel. This disinfection gel. Yeah, in order to not to get get a cold. Because here's yeah, I have to shake so many hands and stuff. Oh, look who I found! Look who I found here, just by walking around. Didn't even look for them. It is Pico. Yeah, I have an appointment actually with Pico. So they are going to show me their latest 4G 4G device again. Hello. You want to you wanna see a demo? Um, yes. What, what is this? Uh, this is a VR headset. VR headset? Yes. And what can you do with the VR headset? Oh, you, can, you can do a lot of things. Yes. So Okay. So, like, the the yeah. uh, Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, this is already launched in Iberia. Uh, uh, where? In which country? Uh, no, in the airline Iberia. Yes, and, ah, yeah, ah, Iberia, the Spanish one. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah, and we also have a different, very different uh, applications. Okay. Uh, if you're interested. Yes. Uh, I'm interested. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Is it okay if I live stream this? Up. What? Okay, yeah, okay. I can come back later. Yeah, they don't want to be live streamed to the most important VR channel in the world. <laughs> oh, you are, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that we can use the, the, the headset and yes. use it to, to see the VR screening. Yes, that's cool. That's great. Um, yeah, actually, I do have an appointment with uh, Leland. Oh yeah. Later, yeah. he's here too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I, I think he said I have a meeting with another Okay, guy, okay. He will be here. Because um, um, later, um, I would like to check out your new, uh, the, your, the new headset. Yeah. Is the uh, the 4G? Or yeah, yeah. Can, uh, can I can I have a look at this? Of, of course. Okay. This is the, the latest and greatest. Okay, uh, cool. Device that we have. Yes. And it has yeah. very nice display. I have yes. heard and yes. also checked. Wait a moment. Let me just put it here. Okay. <laughs> Live streaming now. <laughs> yeah. And would you like to show now where this is a Pico? This is a Pico headset. If you turn around, okay. this is now a Vans, a Pico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And okay. what do you see? I see uh, the Venice Beach Skate Park oh, in yeah. 300 and. Oh. 360 degrees. Absolutely. And, and the, the very cool thing. The quality is, that, is very good. Yeah. And even cool thing is, very is, good. That, is that if I. If, if you, can, you can see like 12K resolution. Okay. So if. Uh, so, if so now it's not. Uh, yeah, 12K demo right now. Yeah, it's a 12K. Wow, uh, it looks resolution. good. It looks really nice. Yeah. So we, we have a solution that we do a 12K uh, decoding. Okay. So we do decoding for 12K. Wow. Okay, guys, I must tell you, thank you, Eric. Thank you so much um, for the contribution. And um, I, I'm, I'm seeing a 360 video right now. And the quality of that video is like nothing I've seen before in 360. It's really, it's really nice. Wow. Yeah. So from 3K to 4K is a really a great improvement. Wow, that's really that's really cool. So it's a skate park in 360, and um, yeah, the people are skating inside, 
and um, the quality is it's amazing, really. I hope you like it. I like it. Great. I like it. But um, this this headset though, it's not going to be for the, for the consumers, right? It, it, it is. This is for the consumers? Yeah, it is. This oh, really? is actually the consumer version. Ah, yeah. okay, but only in China. No, we are going to release the global. Uh, oh, really? Global ah, yeah. because we're I. We're going to have it here in Spain uh, in about one week. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you want to put another, talk what? to Leland. Yes, I will. <laughs> um, and um, how expensive is it going to be? So, what's the name of this? Pico 4G? Uh, uh, Chico, uh, G2 4K. G2 4K. Yeah, G2 it's Goblin, Goblin 2 ah, version okay, and yeah. 4K resolution. Okay. So, G2 4K. Yeah, okay. Cool. And how expensive is it going to be? Uh, well, the price is around 300. About 300? Yeah. Okay. The display, it has, um, it has a good display. I mean, yeah, it's from a J JDI. Okay. Japan display is Okay. Very good. And uh, it has a 4K resolution, right? Yes. Okay, I will take this with me now. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh, it's amazing. I can I can actually take it with me. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> you can get like get us and uh, I can get more get all Oh yeah, probably so probably get, probably I can. For sure, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. So the Pico stand. I will be here later with. Uh, I have an appointment with, with Leland. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! This is going to be amazing. This whole thing here is going to be so much fun. Um, I sh I should ask the Vive people what this whole VR thing is about. What do you guys think? Later. Should I should I ask the Vive people later what this whole VR thing can do? <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I think I should go to I should go to Vive and ask them what, what this whole VR thing is about and um, about the customer service. How their customer service can make HTC Vive even better than they are. Oh, that's going to be amazing. And it's going to be live streamed on the interwebs here on MRTV. Yeah. <laughs> Probably I can even make a test, a sweat test, a live sweat test with the HTC Vive Focus Plus. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> no, you're right, Ax. I I don't want to piss them off too much, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have lots of fun here at Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. Again, if you love this stuff, if you want more background information, more videos, go to mrtvelites.com. That's it. That's it for, for this first impression, for this first walk around with me at Mobile World Congress 2019. Lots of more videos are going to, uh, yeah, going to happen later here on the channel. And uh, I have already my first, my first um, goal here, the Vive, the whole Vive thing. Oh yeah, that is going to be too good. And again, MRTV was the YouTube channel to ever touch the Vive Cosmos controller. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello. And it was a German colleague of mine. Yeah. Cool, and I should make an appointment probably with them later. Yeah. So, so that's it here for this first video from Mobile World Congress. I hope, I hope you, um, yeah, you enjoyed this first coverage here, the first live video from Mobile World Congress. I hope you, that you had the feeling you were live here with me at Mobile World Congress. That is actually what I want to achieve here with that. 
and now I'm going to go and try all these things and then make lots of other live videos. So that should be pretty amazing. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and um, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next live video, which is going to happen pretty soon, I guess.